His truth and his promises and his integrity is what I will use to fight off or to protect myself from anything that is trying to threaten my faith, my position in God. Now, God has given me a scripture that I must give you. If possible, read it every day as an assurance, provoke it, confess it. Use it to pray in the night before you sleep. Use it to pray in the morning. Don't get used to it. Don't get familiar with it after tongues and prayer. And I don't care whether it's five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever. Make sure that you read the scripture. Write it, put it on the walls of your house, walls on your mural. Make, let the kids see it. Make sure that it's everywhere. Print it, paste it everywhere. Psalms 91, from verse one to the end. That's the scripture God is giving us now. That's the scripture for now, till the age of darkness comes and passes. I'm giving you a word from God. Perfect day, saints. My name is Hope Bameja, and welcome back to verse of the day. Today's verse of the day comes from Psalm 91, verse 4, and it says, he shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings shall you trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing we need to notice about Psalm 91 after verse one. So verse one says, he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Okay. From there, verse 2 to 16 is basically just promises. I don't know if anybody else noticed, but I think I only noticed when I was like, maybe verse five i was like oh my goodness like everything is just promises so you're given one instruction in verse one dwell in the secret place from then on it just tells you kind of like the benefits or the results of dwelling in the secret place and verse four is one of them so i wrote here another promise from the results of dwelling in the secret place the imagery of wings and feathers shows the protective slash motherly nature of god now god is always portrayed as our father right and we know by a natural instinct that a father is um there to protect and provide and kind of rebuke and all of that but i feel like in psalm 90 we kind of see the motherly um soft nature of god right he uses this imagery of kind of like a mother hen that just covers you under wings right and you are just fully protected like 365 degrees protected under these huge huge wings i went on to write that this is a place where you can be vulnerable under the certainty that no harm shall be for you so it then goes to say his truth shall be thy shield and buckler so truth is equal to faithfulness faithfulness stability and reliability right so god's truth god's faithfulness god's stability and god's reliability is what you will use as a shield and a buckler okay so you can use god's integrity as a form of protection i was reading matthew um chapter 24 today this morning and there's a part if not at the very very end where um jesus tells the disciples everything that's going to happen like kind of like warning them about what's going to happen and then at the end he says heaven and earth will pass away but my words will never pass away and that's kind of just like proof that god's words would never ever anything that god has said or promised it will never come back void his word always comes back with life so you can trust in god's integrity integrity anything that tries to oppose your position in god is to be put off by using truth okay so his truth shall be my shield and buckler it's basically meaning that his truth and his promises and his integrity is what i will use to fight off or to protect myself from anything that is trying to threaten my faith my position in god so god's truth in the new covenant in the born again um nature is he is jesus himself that is who god's truth is personified right we know jesus says i'm the way the truth and the life so if you are looking what is this truth that's going to be my shield and my buckler it is jesus okay outside of jesus there's no truth there's no shield there's no buckler 
In 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 4, Apostle Paul reminds Timothy that all men should not just be saved, but also come unto the knowledge of the truth. So outside of God's truth, one is vulnerable. So you can be saved, you can be born again, but outside of God, outside of the knowledge of God's truth, you are still vulnerable. You're not protected in this shield, right? Because we know Psalm 91 verse 4 is telling us that his truth is a shield and a buckler. So if you wander around outside of the dimension of God's truth, which are Christ, then you will be vulnerable. The main thing to take away from Psalm 91 verse 4 is that the psalmist is reiterating what was said in verse 1. So in verse 1, it said, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Then it kind of gives you what this imagery is. What is this shadow? This shadow is his feathers and his wings, right? So he shall cover me with his feathers and under his wings shall I trust, right? And then it goes on to say, His truth shall be my shield and buckler. And the main thing to take away from him is that God's truth is the um, is one of not the main or the only, but it's one of the ways that one can be fortified and protected, right? Under God's truth, coming to the knowledge of God's truth will give you a a certain level, a certain dimension of protection and um, um, shielding, almost like um um, invisibility from the plans of the enemy. So that is very important to remember. You are fortified, you are protected under the wings of the mighty God. And not only that, but coming to the knowledge of his truth will be a very beneficial form of protection from all sorts of attacks. You will be shielded in his truth. I hope you got something from this verse of the day and I hope you enjoyed it. Be free to use the comment section to add your own two cents and we can just keep the conversation going and I'll see you in day four. I think today is day three. So I'll see you in day four and have a blessed Sunday. Bye.